Respects first to you and to uh, the Emirate Council. Uh, we are not allowed to play politics in the palace. Uh, I would have. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, I would have uh, made a very long speech, uh, Your Royal Highness. But I will not disturb you with uh, matters that I would have to discuss with the politicians. One of the assignments that, that I have is creating an enabling environment for business. I think it's a very important thing. I believe first that technology is going to be one of the best ways for us to create good opportunities for young people in Nigeria. From 2015 to now, we have seven companies, seven companies founded by young Nigerians, Nigerians who are not even 40 years old yet seven of them, and those companies are valued at over $1 billion each. These are fintech companies. They are fintech companies, many of them involved in payment processing. How did these companies come about? You know, and, and you'll find, you, many might be surprised that we have such companies. It was a change of policy that resulted in these companies emerging. If you, want, if you are doing any type of financial services in the past, you must get a banking license. If you say you want to start processing payments, you want to be a, a, a process, for instance, if you want to buy something online, there are companies that help you to pay. These are the types of companies I'm talking about. To get a banking license is 25 billion. How many people can afford 25 billion? It's probably most people can never ever afford it. So we decided that we will have licenses would have different categories of licenses for financial services. So there are about seven different categories of licenses now for financial services. And, and most of them and most of them are very cheap. You don't have to pay any large sum of money. This is why these companies, these seven companies, were able to develop quickly. And many of them got these licenses, super agent licenses and those kinds of licenses. So they are, now able, they are now able to do the kinds of services. So I think that one of the important things that we need to do is to ensure that we are able to provide real opportunities to create businesses for young people.